You're live. Are we live, Corinne? We are live. Okay. So we are going to have a lot of fun today as we cut the uber-cute Gracie, who is a student at our cosmetology school. She goes to the night program, and uh, we're going to do a classic, tight, undercut graduation with a scissor, and I'm going to cut this in 45 minutes. So I'm working here, working on a nice finger length, tight to the head, shape. My sections are what we call diagonal back, and I'm going to slowly start to uh, over direct the hair lightly forward. I want to take it like really tight at the nape, really tight through the sides. She has a lot of hair. And I want to keep it really clean. I will be doing some scissor over comb. <laughs> Just take me out. Did I bang you? <laughs> yes. Oh, everybody, say good morning to <laughs> Corinne. Good morning. There she is. What's, put your head down. Oh, there she is. That's our new part, piece of our new jewelry collection. And that's Corinne's haircut from last week. Ooh. Yes. And then. Uh, and then we have Joe here, all the way from D'Antony. He came in this morning. He's hanging out with us, so we're excited to see Joe. He's got his, uh, what, what design company is this? Comme des Garçons. Comme des Garçons. He's like so cool. So, cool, right? so Joe's here. Karin's here. Grace is here. And Nick's here. Me. So, let me carry on. What I've done is where the round of the head is. So this is flat. And just where the comb starts to lift away, where the round of the head is, I've taken a horseshoe section and sectioned that all the way out. I'm working with my red scissor comb. I'm slowly going to build a little bit more weight. So it's just a little bit more weight. My fingers are just peeling away from the head, just through the top. And I'm taking this in nice and tight. We like to call it finger tight or finger width because literally it's the width of my fingers. Now it's good to do this with your fingers to get the shape in perfectly. And then we're gonna polish this up with a little bit of scissor over comb. I prepped the hair using our, uh, we, we colored the hair with gold wool yesterday. Before the end of the broadcast today, we will tell you the exact color formulation that was done masterfully by uh, Marlene, who's one of our young colorists here. And so we'll have the formulation for you. We use exclusively Goldwell hair color. It's our color company of choice. And keep your sections really nice and tight. Keep them clean, keep them simple. I'm working with my, what I call my classic scissor comb. My scissor comb has, a, it's a six inch comb. It's got fine teeth for even tension, and then it's got these slightly wider teeth for low tension. I always comb the hair straight after every cut, pretty much. Get right behind the back of the ear. So here we're behind the ear. Get right behind the back of the ear. I prep the hair. Well, first we shampooed it with our Color Save shampoo and conditioner, which is right there in the corner. You can just see that. It's our Color Save shampoo and conditioner. It's our best-selling shampoo because color is very hot and it has a special color saving complex not to disturb the color dye. The best thing about our color save shampoo, it's very moderately priced at $20 and $22 for the conditioner. And then I prep the hair also with our Hydro Mist. And the Hydro Mist is a lightweight spray conditioner that helps to just give the hair a little bit more hold and a little bit more slip. Now notice how I'm following the hair in nice and tight into the nape. You see the hairline here is growing inwards, so we want to eliminate that as much as possible. Hey. Fine teeth of the comb, and you'll notice that my fingers, if you just look in the mirror, you'll see my fingers are just lifting lightly away from the, the shape. The head's rounding away and the fingers are pretty square. 
So I'm going to carry on. I think Karinya was about to ask me a question. Yeah, um, Cindy Land is asking, is the hair jewelry available for salons to purchase for retail sales? Of or... course it is, Cindy. All right. So if you're interested, we will talk. I literally, we're about to launch the collection today. We collaborated with an amazing jewelry designer, uh, and the, the brand name is Epona Valley. We have five pieces of jewelry in two different colors, so 10 pieces in total. Epona Valley is an amazing designer. We're putting it up on the website today, so you'll have it. And tonight in our Soho location, seven to nine, we have DJs, we have a photo booth, we have models, and if you want to come down and try some jewelry, you can try it out. We've got clips, slides, and barrettes. So, uh, and if salons who are Rojo affiliated salons are interested in carrying the jewelry, let's talk because uh, I'm into maximizing my potential. And that's going to be tonight at uh, 7 o'clock in our 180 Varic flagship location. So we'd love to see people come down. Great. Um, Venica Sheppi said, I just purchased those shears. I love them. Oh, thanks. I love these scissors. These scissors are uh, the Erosio BMAC 5.0. It's a lightly, uh, slightly offset handle. So it's slightly offset. You can see that. And uh, they're just a brilliant scissor. The 335. Today we have a special code for a discount for anybody that tunes in to our Brooklyn Live segment on Facebook Live. The discount code for today and tomorrow, again, it's a 48 hour code, is Epona Valley in celebration of our collaboration. So this is kind of very robotic. When I say robotic, what I mean is you're just gonna practice great combing. We're combing the hair out at 90 degrees. Notice I can look at the strength of the hair when I comb the hair down. I see how the hair is growing, and I'm literally following and getting it nice and tight, like a tiger. <laughs> I get it nice and tight, and I follow this shape round. And I'm just working, and you'll notice, if you can see here, I'm allowing the hair to just get a little heavier, right at this corner, because the head's rounding away. I want to build up just a little bit more weight. Always combing with the fine teeth of the comb. You can see that little bit more weight. You can see that space right here. That little bit more weight is for the shape. And then as I turn from the side into the back, I am going to continue to pull the hair out at 90 degrees. Now when you start with the hair damp, after you cut it, it dries out very quickly. And that's gonna help us get into perfect shape for scissor over comb. Now straight away, I know that Grace has a lot of hair. Yeah, because right now I'm in the hair. She has a lot of hair, so I gotta keep these sections fine enough so that I get consistency. And when you comb the hair after each cut, you're gonna see what the hair says. What I mean by that when I say what the hair says, the hair will, if it's cut perfectly, will lie perfectly. So you always have to study and watch what you are cutting, as we get into the nape here, it's harder when you're working this way through to get nice and tight. But I know that once I get below the occipital bone, there's going to be quite a bit of scissor over comb that I'm going to do to polish up the shape. If you've been watching me when I cut with a scissor, you'll notice my thumb never goes into the actual hole of the handle it just sits on the edge. The reason being is I get much more openness and a better control, so it's all about the tension. Nick, you're getting a, a lot of good feedback on this haircut. Oh, good, we like good feedback. Yeah, uh, Dennis Duturi says, nice progression from Nick, old school Sassoon. That's right, well, I am an old, soon, I am an old school Sassooner. I spent the first Shy of 10 years working for Vidal Sassoon. I used to love assisting the likes of Pam Roscoe, Mark Hayes. Uh, worked alongside Debbie, Billy, Colin, and all of the artistic directors down there. 
I was an artistic director by the time I was assistant artistic director when I was 21 years of age, the Manchester Salon. And that's really where I learned how to, I suppose, cut my teeth as a scissor cutter, working for Vidal Sassoon. And then um, I used to work with Ian Amazing Graham, Food. who likes to get his melons twisted every weekend. Oh, you're already twisting them. He Good. said, uh, happy second anniversary. Thanks for making Thursdays great fun. Oh, thanks, Ian. And, uh, you know, Sassoon's was a great place, and we had a fantastic time, and it really set me up into my... Uh, into my career and I learned a lot of great things at Vidal Sassoon which I still practice and use today. Not just great at cutting, not just great things for cutting hair, but also just great things for running business. Yeah, really helped me a lot. A lot of structure and uh, it was a lot of fun. Uh, Brian Gom said, great space, I believe it looks familiar. How is the new school with barbering coming along? P.S. I helped BMAC to design that model. Oh, well thank you. Mm -hmm. um, this barbering program, the good news is, we just got our license uh, for the new school, which we are opening. Now, the new school is our original school. I had to close the original school to transfer the license over. Once I re-signed the lease in the original school, then I applied and reapplied to open that school. So we've just been approved. We're hoping to start our, our program of cosmetology education on King Street. We're hoping, to, we're hoping to start that by June and the barbering program by September in both locations. And we have been meeting some great master barbers and we have a lot of fun coming on. And I've got a couple of calls I still have to make to some of my friends. Uh, Venica Sheppy said she trained with Billy. Oh, excellent. Billy's a good guy. And uh, Iggy Wood said, I could listen to Nick say Manchester all day long. Manchester, Manchester, Manchester. <laughs> United. <laughs> so let's dial in. I'm starting to get to the center back of the head. I'm stood directly behind where I'm cutting. The hair's too short for clips, but I have clipped out the top. I can see that she's got a gallon of hair. That's why my sections are nice and skinny. Fine teeth of the comb, always cut directly on the line. And now as I start to transition over the center back as I'm moving over the spine. So if you come here, the spine's right here. You can see that one or two sections and I'm gonna be completely past. It's important for me to lift the hair up. You see this little soft stuff here we're gonna take off later. But what I'm looking for here is the consistency of the weight line right in here just want to see and you'll see if you can pick this up you can see i've allowed the hair to just get a little longer as we transition in through the back and no scissor over comb just yet i'm going to save that for later keep your client very clean when you are cutting it's very important that you make sure that you keep your client very very clean yeah, think about the experience the client has. Notice how I comb this hair straight out at 90. I see the guide. I come straight down. Fine teeth of the comb, white teeth of the comb to section, fine teeth of the comb. And just really enjoy the precision of classic scissor cutting. Very different to razor cutting because when you cut hair with a scissor you kind of on this example we're cutting a clean line and with a razor we'd be cutting a little bit more of a soft line this will be my last section you can see that we've built up a little bit of weight you can see that right there as the head rounds away from me so that's really for proportion and we're doing a really nice tight graduation as we cut grace's hair Final section before I move on to the opposite side. So it's very robotic, very methodical, and very clean. Nick, um, Sanjay Singh said, good morning. You always inspire me, especially before I start my day. Oh, well, thanks, You've inspired Sanjay. a lot of hairdressers around the world. Um, Dennis Dutturi said, Nick, when you come back to Chicago, I'd like to interview you for Old School Sassoon. Oh, great. Well, I'm coming back to Chicago very soon because we have a show in Chicago. 
In fact, we have a lot of things happening in Chicago. And any Chicago hairdresser, please spread the message, spread the word. Ouch, I broke my thumb. I think I broke my thumb. I'll spray with that hand. Uh-oh. <laughs> so I'm spraying Hydro Mist into the hair. I'll use Hydro Mist as my water. Okay? And now what we're going to do right now is we're going to cut the opposite side. So spray the, the hair with the Hydro Mist. It's a lightweight conditioner. Smells delightful. Linden Blossom is the fragrance. Get the hair evenly damp. I, I, I took a little tumble last week at home and kind of busted my hand up a little bit. So I'm right in this joint here. But it's not stopped me. Mm. Nothing stops me. Nothing. Not Nothing even a broken stops. elbow. Even a broken elbow doesn't stop me. <laughs> Nick, um, Susan Ford's asking, where can we get info on you coming back to Chicago? Okay, so let's talk about what's happening in Chicago. I have three things happening in Chicago. On the 8th of May, we are doing a certification for American Wave, which is our texture service. We reinvented and remarketed what used to be called a perm. If you're interested in carrying the American Wave product, then you have to get certified and uh, that is on the 8th of May and this class is a trio it's $350 for certification on May the 15th I will be back in Chicago on May the 15th and I am teaching a class at trio and it is a razor fundamentals class so if you want to learn the razor you can come and check us out at Trio Salon, which is on Wabash. My good friend mm -hmm. Alex Ianu, who owns the salon, um, I'm teaching a razoring class. It will be hands-on all day. So there will be no, absolutely no demos. So it's going to be hands-on all day. So it's a great class. Uh, it's $3.99. And then also on the 15th of May, my creative team, which Corinne's part of, is gonna be, we're gonna be doing an Erosio Expose. So we have room for 175 hairdressers to come and see our creative presentation. I'm bringing in Blaine. I'm also bringing in Corinne, Alex, and we're gonna be sharing our inspiration, our culture, and all the information is on erosioexpo.com. And tickets are only 20 five spondulas and spondulas are dollars so 25 dollars for a ticket to a rojo expose definitely come and check us out we had an amazing expose in uh, in philadelphia which was uh, i believe when was that was that may the 8th oh, no we're not even in may yet it was april <laughs> i think it was april <laughs> going back to the future i'm going back to the future nick we've got some questions coming in Great. Um, Christina Tranquilli said, would like to know more about the barbering school. Okay, Christina. Well, we're working on our barbering program. We just sent it into the state to get, uh, to get approved. And uh, then we're going to start to build our barbering program. And we'll be launching our barbering class uh, in New York. It's going to be approximately 600 hours at the Erosio Cosmetology School to uh, obtain a barbering license. And that's the only information that we've got because we're really just building the program and we'll be launching in September. Awesome. Um, Jean V. Gandhi asked, uh, should the shears be angled or vertical? So I guess basically, yeah, you're cutting line, you're cutting angle. Yeah, so as I come through, my scissors are literally, you'll notice the only blade that moves is the thumb and I'm literally just putting my fingers. Now what I do is, I'll tell you what I do, watch. I put this piece of steel this piece of steel sits on, it literally sits on my finger so I get a really clean line. Let's watch, let's show you. So I get a really clean line. So it sits on that track right here. Corinne gets any closer? Sorry. <laughs> I like to get in there. <laughs> <laughs> she likes to get in there. So keep it nice and tight, keep it nice and clean, and very robotic. When I say robotic, what that means is just practice the same process every time. Now on this side, you're cutting up. 
That's why when you're cutting up, you need a small shear. A small shear so you can get into those little angles. And the other thing is, because I don't put my thumb in the hole, it actually gets a lot better. I can get into tighter angles. Nick, um, Kimmy Nugent's asking, when will you be in Seattle? Ah, we, we, I think we asked about Seattle a week ago. I'm not sure. I was in Seattle already this year. I definitely will be going back. I look forward to going back, but I'll just stay posted, stay connected to us. As soon as we know when, we'll be there. I know that we've got trips to Savannah, to Fort Lauderdale, to Orlando, to Denver, Colorado. I know that we have all those trips in the next. Uh, this weekend, I'm going to North Carolina and Richmond. Last week, uh, in weekend, I was in Iowa and Chicago. So we've got a lot of travel, but I definitely want to get back to Seattle. And uh, Pauline Wozni is asking, when is Bite Size Boot Camp? And she's asking, is it at Plaza Salon in New Jersey? No, Bite Size Boot Camp starts. Boot Camp starts on Sunday. So Boot Camp is a four-week program. And Bite Size Boot Camp, you can choose one of the weeks out of the four, or two of the weeks. Week one is all classic cutting, like what I'm doing now. Week two is all color. Week three is, is men's barbering and fashion styling. And week four is, uh, what's week four? Week four is all razor, razor cutting. cutting. So but Bite Size Boot Camp starts right now. Starts on, starts on Sunday. Let me jump in front. Let me just have a little look. So you want to come here. And I think I'm trending a little longer right here. So I'm gonna, I, I knew that was happening. So now I'm gonna go back. It's a better place to be. So it's a little longer here. When you stand back, when you stand back, you can see here the length and you can see here the length. So I'm just getting a little longer right here. I'm gonna tighten that in. You're fired. I'm fired. <laughs> uh so one or two sections and that's what I call, what do we call this? You know what I call this? A touch point. A touch point. Stop touching things. Stop touching the point. <laughs> <laughs> that's the best bit to touch. Um. Okay. <laughs> so we're just going to tighten the, that touch point right in right there. Um, Beverly Drock is asking, where in North Carolina? <laughs> uh, well, I'm going into one of my great ambassador salons, Salon Fresh, and I'm teaching a program for them because I love Salon Fresh, uh, Julia and Jason, they have a beautiful salon there, and uh, I, in, it's in Charlotte, and I can't wait to get there, and we're teaching a class for them, and if you're interested in education, think about joining our ambassador program, where you carry a Rojo product in your salon, and get connected to our educational process. And that's really, you know, what we are all about. We're all about sharing and caring. And we're about, you know, helping people to evolve and develop. And Erosio products are a great way for you to bring Erosio culture into your salon or studio. And we have many different packages for many different sizes of salons. So we go anywhere from our uh, ambassador, we go anywhere from our indie intro, which is 525 right the way through to our signature packages, which go up in excess of $7,000. Nick, uh, par Paul Wardell has a great question. He said, where are the pictures from in the background? Oh, well, all the pictures are photo collections that we do. Erosio as a business is very focused on creative imagery. And uh, we usually do a lot of great creative photographs for our marquee event, which is in New York. And the marquee event is called Erosio Expo. And if you're interested to come to Erosio Expo, it's October the 20th, October the 20th, I believe. And uh, it is a two and a half day symposium celebrating everything Erosio. So we do all of our own photographs. And if you're part of the ambassador program, we also let you use some of those pictures to promote your own salons. Work nice and clean. Now I'm going to start to reach. It's like building the channel tunnel. When they built the channel tunnel, the French dug one way and the British dug the other way and they're supposed to meet in the middle. The first time around they missed. 
Uh-oh. Yeah, uh-oh, exactly. <laughs> so right now I'm starting to meet in the middle. You can see I'm starting to cut into the hair that's already been pre-cut. Let's keep it nice and clean. Sections, we call these sections diagonal back. So it's just slightly trending on a slight diagonal. Keep the head up. And once we've finished this, then it's time for us to start polishing with our scissor over comb. I like to say polishing because the scissor over comb is gonna kind of polish the edges. And if you get this right, it makes the scissor over comb a lot easier. We like to cut hair, we don't like to cut corners. We like to celebrate craftsmanship. Precision base cutting, elevating the standards of hairdressing across America and certainly in New York City as a professional salon brand. Erosio has three salons. Right now you're in our Brooklyn location. Uh, this is in Williamsburg. We just celebrated two years. Uh, we have a salon in Tribeca and we have our mothership salon in Soho. And if you're interested and if you're in New York, you should come back tonight at seven o'clock. We have DJs, wine, music, our new collaboration with our jewelry designer. We're excited. It's going to be a lot of fun. And I'll be there. Corinne, you're going to be there? I'm going to be there. Corinne's going to be there. Joe, you got to work today, yeah? Yes. In Nyack, yeah? Yep. This afternoon. This afternoon. Well, you never know. Even Joe might come back. He likes to come back. He might. He might. He, you up. never know. He showed up the other night to our two year anniversary party here. Go, Joe. Go, Joe. Hey, Nick, um, Milo Maximovic said, please Hello, Milo. <laughs> please comment on movement within the cut. Many hairdressers are having a hard time when they have to move when cutting. Well, you've got to move all the time. I'm never standing still when I cut hair. My feet are always moving. I'm constantly moving around because my body position has to change at all times. So you really, this is your stage. The full circle around the chair is your full stage. And you start here, and you can work all the way around. You're here, and you're like a boxer. Fly like a butterfly <laughs> and swing. Sting like a bee. And uh, Jason P. Hunt's been giving you some love. He said, hope to see you soon, mate. Okay, mate, I hope so. So I'm just crossing in before I start to do some schizer overcome. <laughs> Dancing with the stars, that's what Milo said. With Nula? Is that Nula said? Milo. Oh, Milo. Nick, when are you going to do that show? Oh, yeah, yeah. Just don't hurt your hand. No, no. <laughs> okay, so now let's do some scissor rubber comb. Let's polish this up a little. Okay? So I'm going to start in the center. And you've got to keep your scissor and your comb moving at the same time. I'm going to take it in. Now, you want to keep it nice and steady. So you see what happens? You're just moving your thumb. And I'm start with the wide teeth of the comb to begin with. Because that's not going to take the hair too short. We're just polishing up. And we're staying in a central channel. And now I'm going to put the head to the side. Hair goes in inwards. So I'm going to go and cut into the hair. So my comb is going in the way that the hair grows. You're going to get right behind the back of the ear. And let's tighten all this up. You want to really go no higher than the occipital bone. Because if you've cut it, you should have cut it pretty well. So everything below the occipital bone is really where you want to be. Taking the hair in nice and tight. You comb the hair down here. You see, I want to comb the hair down to get all of this hairline area in. I'm still going to stay on the wide part of the comb and you're looking for shading as you come in so you're looking for the shading of course the color is so important now because the color and the saturation of color can play tricks on your eyes so this is where you're really looking for that perfect color execution to really help you Nick, uh, Angela Machado said, oh my God, New York is my dream city. One day. 
One day what? I think she'll be here. I look forward to seeing you. And uh, Milo said La Manche over comb. Do you want to <laughs> explain that? <laughs> What's that? I don't know. What is that, Milo? I don't really know. I know Milo's teaching classes in Atlanta, so if you're in the Atlanta area, definitely check out Milo. He's teaching classes at the Mastery. He's a very talented hairdresser. So keep the scissor. Stay focused on the blade. Get your blade right in. Comb right in here. Take it nice and tight like a tiger. <laughs> We're just polishing this up. Mila said the channel. The channel. Now, <laughs> now I'm just resting my, comb, my scissor right here as we tighten the hair up. It's like playing pool. You just rest your... You can just rest your scissor on your hand so you can tighten that hair up. Now, look, fine teeth of the comb. Now I'm in the fine teeth of the comb. Fine teeth of the comb is going to get me even tighter. I want to go tighter. Angela said yes, and I will visit you for sure. Excellent. We're always open seven days a week. Come by and see us anytime. And uh, Katie Wisniewski said, why so short for a girl? Well, oh, because she's smoking. She can handle it. Short hair can look very feminine. Don't you worry. Stay for the haircut. You'll see. Yeah, sometimes it's nice to be bold when she has such beautiful eyes, great color, great bone structure. Let's, let's take a look. look. Yeah, eyes. girl. And this is going to be kept long. We're going to do an undercut. Looks great. So you, want to, you can always come back to polish up. When I was a young hairdresser, yeah, we used to cut, you cut, you cut, you keep looking, you move on. You cut, you cut, you keep looking, you move on. So what do I mean by that is it means like, you know, it's not finished until it's over. It's not over till it's over. But we want to kind of get it 90% done so that we can refine and polish. Now the hair grows this way, so I'm going to come this way. And take that hair right in nice and tight. Uh, Katie says, I do all men's cuts, so would this work for a man? Well, yeah, you tailor it for a guy. We want to keep the haircut feminine, even though she's, uh, you know, going short, and that, that was the question prior. You want to keep the haircut feminine. When you cut women's hair and when you cut men's hair, you want your guys to look like guys and your girls to look like girls. So typically speaking, squarer shapes for guys, rounder shapes for women. We're going to keep some roundness to the shape. But we are making it a little bit more dramatic by taking it so tight, which is nice. Caroline Quinn said, Mint Salon in Green Bay is chiming in again today with her four-year-old. Nice to see you. Super cute. Chime in. And uh, Mila said, thanks for the love. Awaiting your Erosia Mizutani's was told by your sales that they will come and they will uh, email we me. We are waiting for them, and they are our skinnier scissor, the Mizutani Erosia Slim. It's another beautiful scissor. This is a little chunkier. The blades here are a little chunkier. The Mizutanis are a little bit more slender, so I like both of them. And the Mizutan is a little longer, 5.5. Now let's just get right in here, around the ear again. So you'll notice if you get underneath, you get your scissor right in. Be careful, you don't want to cut the ear. Yeah. So just work delicately, keep super focused as you work through around the ear. And right in here, we're going to take it again. Notice I've gone to the fine teeth of the comb to tighten it all up. Nick, uh, Rick Jaramillo is asking, will you have a business live soon? <laughs> mm -hmm. Do you know what, Rick? I think that's a great idea. You know, I love business. You know, I've been working so hard this year on my business. All the different facets. I'm just going to... She, she, she gets so close. She's like <laughs> literally breathing on me. <laughs> but yes, I think we've got to have a business, uh, a business live soon. Now, don't forget our, our, expos, our expo event. We always do a business program. So if you're interested, Rick, you should come to expo. There's only going to be 250 people at expo for the main event. 
and uh, it's hands-on all day, creative presentations. It's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, Dennis Deturi said, how the point on scissors? Say that again. How the point? the point on I think. How is the point? I think. The point is a little rounded, so it's less sharp than the, it's less pointy than the, um, than the Mizutani. It's kind of rounded, which is nice. So it gives you a little bit of protection. If that's the question, if not, then ask I'm me sure he'll, he'll clarify. Yeah. Uh, Katie Wisniewski said, I wish sports clips would have Nick do a class for us. Well, just tell him. Yeah, I'm a man for hire. I like working. I like getting paid. They want me to come and teach a class. You know where I am. You know how to find me. Just tell your crew. Maybe they'll do it. I know the guys at Sports Clips are a very successful business and brand. So now I've moved to the fine teeth. And literally right now I'm going to start breaking down the top. Okay, we're going to start breaking down the top. So let's have a look and see what we've got. Something nice and taut. Taking out a horseshoe. So now let's unclip the horseshoe. And let's break it down. Alright, so we're going to break it down. Now what we want to do... I'll come through that side, Corinne. What we want to do is we want to go... We want to keep leather through the front. So you'll see, but we need to blend it in. So the question is, is do you start through the sides or the back? So comb that hair down and we'll see because we cut the side, the, the, we cut it short, you can see what we got. What we'll do is we'll section it across the top of the head. Let's section it across the top of the head. And now what we're going to do is we're going to connect it in. Now you can see here crown wise, her crown's here, so you're going to see and see how that works. Don't be scared. Never scared. I'm never in fear when it comes to cutting hair. What I mean by that is, you've got to be bold, you've got to be brave. So let's section this down the center, and let's see if we can start to connect in through the back and move towards the undercut, because we want to keep the length through the front. So now I'm going to do a diagonal in from the center. So we're doing a diagonal from the center, and I'm going to work side to side. So I'm literally combing the hair in side to side, and I comb the hair down after each cut. Section, keep it nice and clean. Fine teeth of the comb. Over there at their in, that hair in. Watch for the hair jumping. Don't worry about it. Just keep an eye on how the hair moves. Follow your line in. You work with the growth of the hair. The razor is a tool that creates a bit more softness and is more forgiving. The scissor is more precise and more sharp. You've got to stay on the lines. Hey Nick, uh, Megan Eccles has a great question. She said, do you ever use a longer shear? You know, Megan, I used to have a lot of long shears. Long shears are great for long hair. Long shears are not so great, in my opinion, for short hair. It's hard to control, it's hard to get in. But I do like a big one. <laughs> Stop it. I do like a seven inch <laughs> nick. I have seven inch nick shears and they're beautiful and I used to have them a lot. We used to do a Rojo nick seven inch shears. But when you're getting into precision, a seven inch shears is gonna be too, too, too big for this type of uh, short cut. Nick, Sarah Krius is asking, are you over directing to the first section or traveling up? I'm traveling back, but come and have a look. Stand here, you'll see where the hand is, Kirin. Yeah? I'm over directing back and I'm connecting. I built a little bit more weight through here. So I'm combing this and I'm blending it in. There's no disconnection. So I'm blending it in and I'm combing the hair to have a look and see. And I go from side to side. Sorry, I think I jumped right in front of you. That's okay. I go from side to side as I connect. So you can see all the length. So you can see if I just call that comb, it's all connecting in. Comb this hair right the way back, connect it in, and then notice how I comb it down just to have a look. 
You go to side to side because the hair grows in different ways, especially because you're dealing with the crown, which is kind of like a fingerprint, swirls around. And I am connecting into the sides right now, but soon I'm going to start to not connect into the sides. Because if we just look here, I want to keep this length, okay? I want to keep this length, and I've got this length. So I've got to imagine the line as I come through here, the line. So I'm looking at that. So now as I come through this side, I'll stay on this side. What I'm going to do is I'm going to over-direct the hair back. So I'm going to connect everything into the back. Everything into the back. Look at the fineness of the section. So I'm not going to connect it into the side right now. I'm just going to connect it into the back. So this is when we start to study overhang or undercutting. Because you'll see right here, I'm connecting it into the back. Into the back. Into the back. But if we comb out to the side, there's no connection. Now if I comb it down, you can start to see that there's a disconnection and it's happening right here. And again, I'm trying to m measure the, the amount of length that I want to keep. So this is the final section because I split the head across the top. Sometimes you can subdivide these sections too. You know, when you learn the classic haircuts, which is, you know, which is what we teach, classic cutting, when you learn the classic haircuts, there are designated hairstyles that teach you the classic techniques. They're the threads, the foundation, the basic language of hair cutting. When you start to understand the basic language of hair cutting, which is lines, graduation, and layering, then you start to marry those techniques together. And that's when you really need to start using judgment. So you get better judgment as you create those cuts and you work through. And judgment is what is your own intuition. So combing this back, so combing this back, but it doesn't connect into the side, it gets longer here, falls over. And you'll notice I'm not thinking about here. I'm just thinking about here. And I'm thinking what I want to create here and then how I'm going to connect it into the front. So again, that's when you break your haircut down. It can simplify the way in which you think. You can process in a different way. Nick, Tim Bricker's asking, what hey, is the formula for the color? It looks amazing. Uh, Claire? You come over here for a second, Mrs. Claire. Okay, I'm going to introduce you to my team lead here. This is Claire. Hello. She's our fierce leader here in Brooklyn, along with Zacharu. Your hair looks great, Claire. Thank you. Can you show us those it. braids? Nice. It's been slept on. Oh, it's been slept on. <laughs> that's the don't best ask, part about it. Don't ask any more because yeah. you could have had other stuff happen, but then good. that's a whole other story. <laughs> that's a whole other show. This is great. You had a hair color just today. Can you see if the formulation's in the yeah, computer? No problem. Let's see whether our team do the right thing. Okay, so come around here, Corinne. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to section out. So we've taken a diagonal section from the top to the side. And I've started to build up some length. So now I'm going to follow that through. So let me come around the back. I'm going to drop the chair down. I've got new chairs come in. This is the Erosio chair. This is the Erosio styling chair. Made by Belvedere, and I've got 55 chairs coming to my Soho location tomorrow. A lot of chairs. <laughs> as soon as we uh, are reopening the school, I wanted new chairs, and we're reopening this. We're going to keep the salon open, so we're going to get brand new chairs. It's 10 years since we put new chairs in the place. So we're time. It's time. <laughs> so we're going to comb this hair back, we're going to lift, I drop the chair down so I'm on top, comb the hair back, and we connect that in. 
Nick Stephen Adams says good morning. Stephen Adams, all the way from <laughs> Minneapolis. And I'm glad you're here, Stephen, because we are coming to Minneapolis. And the date is the 22nd of May. And we are doing a Rojo American Wave certification. And we are doing a Happy Mondays uh, in Minneapolis. So if you want to come for a two hour inspirational class, complimentary, that's our Happy Mondays event. And uh, it will be at the Moxie Salon. And we'd love to see people come and join. So tell your friends, spread the word. And you can just go to my website, Arojo NYC, and you can sign up on Eventbrite and RSVP your slot. Nice. And uh, Kimberly Burgess Crow says, Reese says hi hey. to Corinne and Nick. I just cut Reese's hair last week. I know. You did it, didn't you? Yep. She's so cute. She's super cute. So cute. Fine teeth of the comb. So look at the over direction, look at the elevation. Over directing the hair back. And fine teeth of the comb gets you this even tension. This is the Erosio comb. We have a we have a promo on our Erosio professional site today and tomorrow. And that promo is Epona Valley. And that is the name of our of our uh, designer who designed our jewelry. So you can see right here, short underneath, long on the top, it connects through. From the back, it's over directed into the back. And as we work around, over directed back, over directed back, and you start to over direct everything back so that you start to work with what we call a little undercut. You can see that right there. I have the formula. So she did it. She did it. I am so glad. Because that's very important for me and my business. Now, let me show you this before we get into formulation. Come and stand behind me, Corinne. Mm -hmm. Even though the hair is super short, by creating the foundation, you want to look and see the balance in here. So it's nice and slim from the front, which really streamlines the face because it's all about the shape and it will help the face. And she's got a great face, you know, so she's in good shape. But again, you've got to get this nice and tight because if it's tight, it looks more dramatic. We're going to do exactly the same on this side. And while we start this process, I just want to show you. I'm going to bring this section down, this triangular section, this angled section, bring it down from the top of the head to what we call the recession point. Not the receding point, she's not receding, just the recession point. And the recession point is really where the side of the head goes into the top of the head. Yeah, it's the joint. So uh, maybe you move it a little <laughs> bit, or is she going to get the old shoulder boulder? <laughs> and Claire can come in and give us a little, uh, give us a little color lingo. So uh, this beautiful pink was done by Marlene, who's a stylist colorist here, um, and she did a double process and used three volume with Oxy uh, Goldwell color, of course, and she did a pre glaze with three parts nine N one part 10p and five mils of 8sb and then for the pink overglaze she did 30 mils 10v five mils 5va five mils 7rr with two percent right mm -hmm. and it's all gold wool hair color oh, wow. and uh, how long has marlene been working with us about? two years exactly we just celebrated our two-year anniversary it was on monday we celebrated on tuesday uh, and Marlene was actually our first color apprentice that came over here, but she did a great job, went mm. through the program really quickly, and uh, yeah, has now been with the company for two years, and obviously does beautiful work. And if you're interested, come and see Marlene at Rojo Williamsburg. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Pia Vivas is asking, what level did she bring it to after using Oxy? I know. <laughs> well, we're all cutters here. Pia Vivas, and how are we're you? We're all cutters here. Yeah, we're all cutters here. <laughs> We love our Pia Vivas. Uh, uh, Nick, we Hello. have got Alice Dunnikin. She said, good morning from Albany, New York. Will you be visiting here anytime soon? I am definitely going to be visiting up there. And I believe I'm coming up in June. So stay connected. 
uh, because I do have a visit to uh, Phoenix Salon and uh, it's that neck of the woods and I've got my some great ambassadors up there so you never know we might end up doing some more stuff. Yep, and uh, Charles Elliott said Goldwell and Arojo are a match made in heaven. Oh, Charles, where were you? We had a party the other night. We had a party tonight, <laughs> Charles. If you want to come, come to 180 Barry. I'd love to see you. We've connected both sides in. Now I'm going to come through the top. So again, I'm still being robotic. Come through the top. And I'm going to work on the tops of my fingers. Right? I'm going to work on the tops of my fingers for comfort. So let's come through. Now you can cut like this, but look what happens to the shoulder. Yeah? The bells! <laughs> the bells! She gave me water! So that oh you're my. hunched. So if you drop... <laughs> drop it. Like it's hot. Yep. So you can just cut across the top. So now let's just work across the top as we slowly start to go from being what I call robot robotic. This is still very much systematic. <coughs> Once I finish this, then it's time for me to start looking in a more personalized way and utilizing some of the techniques that um, maybe are less robotic, a little point cutting. But you're gonna notice right here, that's now we're starting to cut into the top length of the head. Nick, uh, Jessica Stevens says hello from Philadelphia. Philly in the house. Linda Malazzo said, I can't wait to do this haircut the Erosia way. I've learned so much. Good. And uh, Iggy Wood said, Nick, you're traveling everywhere, but you need to come upstate to the central New York area again. I missed you at the casino in Rome last year. Oh, <laughs> yes. That was fun. Well, hopefully my good friends, Golden New York, will bring me up to hang out with you guys again. Make sure you can be there the next time. So we're over-directing the hair back. I like to look in the mirror. You want to make sure that your sections are completely horizontal so you get that perfect straightness. Yeah? And always check, check out what you got here because it's all about, it's not about the haircut, it's about the, the blending of the haircut to the features of the face. Keep your sections consistent. Notice how the wear is not, the, notice how the wear, notice how the hair is not dripping. It's nice and damp. You want to see, you see the personality of the hair when the hair slowly starts to dry. When you're cutting with a scissor, you literally cut from wet to dry. Nick, Michelle Snyder is asking, will you need American Wave models when you come to Minneapolis? Yes. If you're interested, send me a photograph. Go to my Instagram. You can direct message me. Send me a picture of yourself. It's hard on a photograph, but... At least we'll get the connection and we'll take it from there. we we'll see whether we think it's going to be suitable for the program. Now you notice I was over directing this hair back, so let's just have a look, Corinne. Mm -hmm. If I were to comb the hair this way, you can see that the hair went longer. You can see a little less. You just got it perfect <laughs> right there. I tend not to cross check too much. Because you know what, I'm not into cross-checking. I think cross-checking is great when you're learning, but I'm not really into overly cross-checking my work. I like to just let it be. Nick, Tanya Gros asking, is the top connected to the back part? The top is connected to the back. Yeah, so let's just have a look. Connected. 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 Connected, but it's not connected to the sides. General shape is in now, all right? General shape is in. Now it's time for me to start getting a little bit more personal. I think the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna work on the old bang, really. So I'm gonna go straight in there, work on the bangs, and then we're gonna to start to do a little bit of point cutting. She cut her own bangs. Well, she's at hair school, so what do you expect? Yeah, you like that. And we're gonna shorten them and keep them a little rounded. I'm gonna come from the center, so we're going to take the center out, going to comb this hair down. I don't really want it to be too short here, guys. And I'm not going to cut it blunt. I'm going to cut it soft. So just cleaning up. And I'm going to keep the length. I go two sections on one side, two sections on the other. We, by cutting it short through the sides and the back, we created quite a bit of drama. It made it a little bit more extreme, which is great. 
and like to comb this from side to side to see. I'll stay on this side. I'll lean over the chair. Straight down, now point cutting in. Again, with the, with the B-Max, great shear for point cutting. Has a very rounded edge. So it's, uh, it's a bit nicer and a bit kinder. Notice I keep my scissor just rotating and resting on one of my fingers. I like the way that's looking. Let's come right in the center. Just chip that out just a little bit more. All right, should spin ahead, it'll be easier this way. Straight down, comb the hair forward. Getting a lot of love, Nick. Oh, I feel the love. I need the love. I need the love. So much love right now. I need the love. They like the haircut, the color. Good. Notice how we drop in that corner so you see a little bit of roundness. Drops down and around right there. <laughs> All cut with a scissor. Again, I could have cut it with a razor. But we've been doing a lot of razor cuts here on Brooklyn Live and uh, if anyone's interested in getting a haircut, you can definitely just send me a message. Um, we're always looking for new things to do. We've been doing a lot of razor cutting, so I thought it would be perfect for us to do a little bit of scissor cutting today. Uh, Brooklyn Live every Thursday, 10 o'clock EST, Eastern Standard Time. <laughs> you can always have a little bit of Thursday morning inspiration as we get, you know, share kind of all the things that we're doing, and it's a perfect place for you to stay connected to Erosio and it's our way of sharing our culture and our vision and hopefully setting you up so you can come and see us when we're out and about on the road. These are the tools that we had in our industry that we never had when I was growing up. So that's why we embrace it so much. Nick, uh, Iggy Wood is saying shatter that baby. I'll start hooting and hollering if you pick up your razor. <laughs> <laughs> He's <laughs> into it. Um. <laughs> now I'm going to start to do a little bit of personalization, guys. And what I mean by that is now I'm going to start to get in there and do a little bit more point cutting. General shapes in. Now it's time for me to just polish the shape up. And soon it will be time to style. So when you start doing this kind of stuff, it's really time for you to, you know, comb that hair around and see exactly. You've got to look deep. For the inspiration so when I say look deep for the inspiration when we're communicating talking we're entertaining we're sharing yeah it's uh, obviously you have to think about what you're saying but you know when you're in the salon you've got to really focus on like seeing how the hair is going to look and perform and see whether the growth pattern is going to work with your technical shape uh, so on and so forth Nick, Patricia Laird has a great question. She said, what do you tell your client if they cross-check your work and find something? If your client cross-checks the work, you're going to get people like that. And if they find something, that's okay. Just cut it. <laughs> yeah, just cut it. I used to have one client, I used to leave her, and she would check her, check her haircut. And I'd come back, I'd be like, is everything okay? She'd be like, I think so. I'd be like, great, glad you're happy. Yeah, so just, you've got to learn how to deal with the general public. Yeah, and the general public is, uh, is very interesting because uh, it's unique. So that uniqueness is something that you're going to learn to live with and communicate with. And it's a great thing for us as hairdressers because learning how to deal and communicate with people is part of the skill of being a great hairdresser. Lisa Brewer's asking, when are you starting Tuesday night, Snick? Aha, uh -huh, Lisa, good. She's been focused on this. <laughs> well, we are doing something. We're going to do something very cool on Tuesdays. Yeah, it's going to be from Tribeca. I'm going to set up a Rojo Creative. And uh, we're looking at some technology right now because we want to maximize what we can do. Tuesday night's not going to be the same as Thursday mornings. It's going to be different. So we're in the planning phases. And uh, I think that if you fast forward to 20, uh, later on this year and into 2018, I think you're gonna start to see 
Happy Monday's live. And you're gonna see a lot of stuff. I'm gonna probably hopefully travel a little less and do things a lot more virally or technology wise. We've got some questions coming in. Um, Cydia Jimenez said, how often is maintenance required for this cut and color? Oh, I think this is usually short hair lap. This needs maintenance a little bit more often. I think color every four weeks. I'd say cut every, you know, every four or every eight weeks, every other time, you know, but rooty kind of looks look really good. Yeah, so I always leave it to my client when they want to come back. Yeah, as long as you get in new clients, that's the only step you need to focus on. It's getting new clients. If you get a new clients, you're okay. And you need to be getting one new client a day. That's the new conversation. Yeah. And uh, that's the theme of our expo this year, in October. The theme is, it's time for a new conversation. I'm sick of the old conversation. I want new conversations <laughs> because we're living in a new world. Nick, we've got some texture questions. Um, Dennis Duturi said, would you combine razor rotation in the cut and kind of along with it, Kelsey Shandy's asking, when doing a texturized cut like this, what's the benefits to point cutting rather than using a razor? Well, point cutting is just another skill. You know, what happened was when we learned how to follow lines with scissors, sometimes you create those scissor lines and the hair is a bit too thick so it doesn't move so well. So point cutting is a great way for getting a little bit more movement into the hair because when you create space, you create transparency. Razor cutting is a fast track to creating that space because when you razor cut, you remove length and weight at the same time. There is that, you know, you've got to learn both. The first thing to learn is the scissor. The second thing to learn is the razor. Learn the scissor first and the razor second. The razor is harder to understand and harder to master if you're not a great scissor cutter. When you razor cut, you razor from the inside out. When you scissor and point cut, you can point cut this way too. Another way, so there's this way to point cut. You can point cut through here. Yeah, there's you can on chip on the ends. So there's many ways that you can develop your style and really what we're trying to do is just soften the lines now. Could I use a razor? You betcha. But today, it's all about the scissor. And uh, I think it's important for people to know that even though Rojo's kind of made millions of dollars working with a, with a razor, scissor cutting is uh, very much part of our forte. Great. Uh, we still got more questions coming in. Uh, Amy Scad said, "Are you going to be anywhere near Montana?" Uh, no. <laughs> no. I hope so. I'd like to go to Montana. Mm -hmm. And um, Alice Dunnikin's asking, speaking of new clients, what would you say is the number one way a stylist can get new clients? Oh, you have to give out five cards a day. Not in the salon. You have to give out five cards a day outside of the salon. Everywhere you go, everywhere you go, make sure you have business cards in your pocket. Everywhere you go, be looking at people like I met Grace last week. I had a party in my school and I saw this cute girl with pink hair and with great features, great face. And I said, ah, oh, your hair is so cute. Do you want to get a short haircut? She said, yeah. I said, great. I said, are you free Thursdays? She said, yeah. I said, great. I said, well, I'd love to get your hair. And that's how you do it. You gotta get, always keep your eyes open. I'm picking up business all the time. Now, you don't have to say for free. You know, the best way to introduce yourself to somebody is to say, oh, I love your hair. They say, oh, thanks very much. You say, oh, I'm a hairdresser. You know, and they'll say, oh, great. And, and then you'll say, this is where I work. And by this point, if they're talking to you, and if you approach them in the right way, they may just say, well, what do you think? And when you say, what do you think? Then you say, well, I think it was great, but maybe you could do X or you could do Y. And then when you say that, then all of a sudden, she might say, there's my card. And if she doesn't say, do you have a card? You say, uh, well, listen, let me give you my card. If you're ever looking for something new, you can come and see me. You have to get it. It ain't coming to you. There's too much competition. 
Nick, Megan Eccles has a great question. Why not cut, um, she said, why not point cut each section originally if you know you're going to be back to point cut it anyway? Great question. Great question. You know what, I, today I wanted to cut it clean. I enjoy cutting hair. Today I wanted to cut it clean. I didn't know I was going to point cut it so much. She has a lot of hair. She has a lot of thickness in her hair. Uh, so I'm just softening it out now. That's a great question though. But you know, sometimes it's like important not to... Uh, I enjoy the craft of hair cutting. I enjoy it. So when I enjoy it, it means I like to see what I can do when I create lines. And then it means I also like to see what I can do when I point cut. So again, it's a little bit of an exercise, a little bit of a lesson. Put it this way. In the salon, I was cutting this client's hair, probably cut the top with a razor. Today was scissor lesson day. And I don't want to get bored. And if I use my razor all the time, guess what happens? Sometimes I, uh, I lose sight of the, of the scissor. So right here, by keeping the scissor, I enjoyed it. And uh, hair cutting is like, it's like painting a picture. Yeah? Creating a sculpture. So right now what we're doing is we're just having fun. And we're having fun looking at how the hair starts to dry. The movement, I put a cleaner line in, it's a heavy, heavy top, slightly heavier on the sides. And we're getting close to finishing the shape. Nick, Heidi Allen's asking for a little advice. She said, I was injured six years ago and can't be an active stylist in the industry anymore. I crave the industry. Do you have any other ideas of how I can stay in it? Well, you know, uh, you can maybe work at on a reception desk, maybe you can manage a salon, maybe you can get involved in a product company, a manufacturer. There's, I think there's many ways. Maybe work in a school. It can be very rewarding working in a school. I've got two schools in New York. I'm always looking for great people to help me. From ad we're looking right now for administrators. And we're looking right now for uh, you know student agents. So you can get connected to the industry. There's loads of ways that you can stay connected to this industry. And that's what I do, because the industry has many facets to it. And what I would do if I was you, I would look for a clerical job, either in a salon, in a school, or in a, with a product company. Only oh, just so happens that Erosia has all of those things. So we have schools, we have salons, <laughs> and believe it or not, we have products. Nick, uh, Robin Stanley says hi. Is that Rob the boss? Rob the hair boss. I like the, Rob. I just have to say that I think you look so great at the Christmas at the, um, at the Christmas party. <laughs> You've got it's a great memory. Two year anniversary. Aww. I hope you win your basketball game. She's laughing right now. Yep, LOL. Just came up. <laughs> a little bit of polish, and then soon we'll be finishing up the cup. So let's have a recap on all the things that erosion has got going on right now in our world. This weekend, I'm gonna be in Richmond. I'm teaching a razoring class in Richmond at 12.13. If you're interested, contact 12.13 in Richmond. I'm teaching a razoring class and I'm doing some demonstrations on Sunday night. So if you're interested, contact 12.13 and come and see us. Uh, we are going to be, I'm going to be in Charlotte with my great ambassador salon, flagship salon, Salon Fresh. We're excited for that. Uh, then coming up, I'm going to be in Savannah at the end of the month. And we have Happy Mondays here in New York City. If you're interested, come and check us out. We also are going to be traveling to Chicago on the 8th of May and the 15th of May. We are doing American Wave certification on the 8th. And we are also doing... A razor cutting class with uh, Joe. Can you see my black comb? Just gonna move to a black comb. It's got wider teeth. Yeah, wider teeth. The wider teeth are gonna let me get through the hair a little bit softer. So on May the eighth, we'll be there doing American Wave at Trio Salon on Wabash, or Wabash, or Wibblebash, and then on uh, on the. 15th, we are going to be teaching a razoring class, and the razoring class, after the razoring class, we're going to be doing an Erosio Expose. So Corinne, myself, Alex Blaine, the creative team, 
We're flying in and we'd love to see you there. It's a two hour program. We'll have professional models. We'll be sharing, demonstrating, hair painting. We'll be demonstrating American Wave. We, whoops, we have models to share and show. And we're really looking forward to, uh, to that program. Then also, we're gonna be in Minneapolis on the 22nd. So the 22nd will be there for uh, American Wave certification. And we'll also be there for uh, the Happy Mondays, which we're excited to do. Nick, Stephen Stratland is asking, is it a razor class? It's a razor class. Yeah, we teach a lot of razor classes because a lot of people want to learn our way of razor cutting. And I'll be there to teach. So product-wise, we're going to be thinking about product-wise now. And we've got some great Erosia America. Uh, we've got a great, great Erosia product. And uh, I've got to choose which product I'm going to use to kind of create the shape and finish the hair off. Pushing this hair around. If you're interested, in getting connected to a Rojo product, you can email me, nick at a Rojo NYC. You can check out our Rojo product, become an ambassador. We have ambassador salons, many different levels, all the way from boutique salons, independent chair rentals, right the way through to some mega salons. Notice how I've let this hair dry literally dried out completely and all of our information is available on erosionyc.com for our shows erosionexpo.com and Corinne what's a good resource for any of our other information oh, we have a free app this is available uh, for iPhone and Android if uh, you look for Erosio Social Erosio get connected Social. with us the writing's the on the wall. On the... <laughs> Sorry? The writing's on the wall. The writing's definitely on the wall. Oh, Jackie Barrett just asked a great question. She said, what is American Waving? American Wave is the Erosio Texture Service. Joe, can you do me a favor? Go and ask Claire to give you a couple of boxes of American Wave. Bring it over. We'll share it with you. We basically took what used to be called the perm and we recreated the service and we recreated the product. It's called American Wave. And then what we've recently done in the last four weeks is we launched this product line here, American Wave, which is our texture product for curl, wave, and texture. We noticed that curl, wave, and texture has become very, very popular with it becoming so popular, we decided to launch a new line of products for the Curly Girls. And it's a six skew line of product. We also noticed as uh, one of the leading curl brands, Diva Curl, has become more retail focused, we wanted to come out with a, with a product that was gonna stay in a more professional arena. This is American Wave, used to be called a perm. This is Color Wave. And this is American Wave. This is exothermic. It's a non-thio-based waving lotion. And an American Wave takes the place of a perm. And that's why we love it. So far, so good? Yeah. Nice. Stephen Adams said he loves the American Wave product line and it's selling like crazy in his salon. Good. Keep selling it. <laughs> I need some new shoes. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> He needs some drop crotch pants. I've already got some for him. I need them. Steven, say hi to Brent. I love him. <laughs> oh, Steven, say hi to Brent. Brent and his drop crotch pants. Well, Brent has the... He's the best. The only person that's got a better drop crotch than Brent is uh, Jeff Stump. Jeff Stump, yeah. It's, yeah, it's his... he's got a stump. Jeff Stump's got a great salon out in California, in the OC. He's an Erosio ambassador. His salon's called Architects. And if you're interested, you want to meet Jeff Stump, we're going, to be, uh, we're going to be flying him in to Orlando, Florida. We'll nice. We'll down to Orlando, Florida. And we'll have Jeff Stump in the house with his partner in crime. A lot of fun. Okay, I think it's time for me to start styling. Let's take that out of the way. Let's pick up the dryer. Do it. 
<laughs> so if you're tuning in, you'll see this is undercut through the sides. Kept a lot of length through the top. It's short, but it's soft. I think it still has a feminine feel. All cut complete with a scissor today. With a scissor cut for you. The only product that's in the hair is our Hydro Mist. It's our lightweight spray conditioner. And now we're going to start to layer in some hair products. And let's start with my dry conditioner. The Rosier dry conditioner, $22. Let's get a look at that. Boom. Shaka. Laka. Nick, uh, Luna Iris is asking, is it possible to get American Wave in Europe? Uh, not right now. Are you in Europe? Maybe you can I it. assume so. So this is a hydrolyzed keratin. It's a lightweight spray. We call it a dry conditioner because it adds silk and, sh and, and sh a soft sheen to the hair without making the hair greasy. I thought it would be a nice product to just start to play into the hair, see if we can start to create that texture. It's a great refreshing product, smells really clean, and then we're going to be adding another product in. You'll see when you start to play and layer, the hair gets better as you start to put product into the hair. As a product brand, we love to layer products in. Uh, it's a soft product, this. It's just a, a sheen. You can see it's giving a little bit more separation in the hair. And I think that now what we need to do is go in with our other new product. And Joe knows which one it is. He picked up the first American. They're all empty. Mm -hmm. we it's were... so good, this product. It's empty. Empty, empty, empty. They're all empty. Oh, that means it's good. Go on and see if Claire can give you a fresh one. I own the company. I should be able to have a fresh one. Now this is called, uh, this is our texture and shine spray. Okay, so this is going to bring in... Can we get a look at that? Oh, yeah. Nice. We, uh... We design everything ourselves. We have our own design team. Yeah? Dominic, myself, Christine, Whitney Landau, who now I was just with this past week, this past weekend. So we design all our products in house. We work with seven different chemists across America as we're building our brand. Give me the full one. American Wave. This product's called Lint. It's a great hero product for us. You can see the hair change. You can see what it's doing. It's changing the hair. So it's a great product. Lightweight movable. Brings out that softness, that peaciness. A little bit of chaos. You can show the undercut. Nicely even put in through the, the base and the roots of the hair. some short hair for you. I hope you guys are having a good time watching me on uh, on our Brooklyn Live, live from Williamsburg, making a great professional hair student right here. Not only is she great at hair, she's great at coffee. She works in a Fort Greene, is that right? Fort Greene? Yep, What's it called, the place? So if you want to go and check out mm -hmm. coffee and go and see the haircut in real life. <laughs> so it's cute. It's in night class program. If you're interested in cosmetology school, definitely think of Erosio. We're really big into, uh, you know, making our school successful. And we have programs, night class programs. We have student funding. You name it. You want to get into the hair business. I tell you, it's the best business out there. Amazing stuff. Now, don't forget tonight, if you want to come down to see us in, uh, in our Soho location, we'll, we'll be there, and we'll be there, and we're going to be uh, 
launching our new hair jewelry, which is designed, we did a collaboration with Epona Valley. And I think we finished our gorgeous little... That looks amazing. Gorgeous little cute little... Really so good. cute. What was the color? What did she call it? What was her name? Oh. <laughs> oh, magenta. Well, it's been a lot of fun hanging out with you. I hope you enjoyed the show haircut. Check us out next Thursday, Brooklyn Live. Thanks to Big Joe. All the way from D. Anthony's Salon in night. You have a, does he have a big show coming up? He has a jam? Yeah, we have a in, jam coming up June 11th. June 11th. Nice. In night, go and check out D. Anthony. He's an amazing ambassador salon. And uh, Joe will be there. He'll be cutting. Also, she's <laughs> going to be there. Corinne is going to be there. So thanks to Corinne and thanks to all of you for checking us out. And special thanks to Grace. the beautiful Grace. Thank you. Awesome. Good job.